Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkis, and today is our Sunday box opening. November. Hey, <laughs> I don't remember what happened to October. I know it was like super fast. I yeah. think we were super busy. I don't even know. And that. then times change last night. Last er, night. Night, early, night. Early this night. morning at 2 a.m. Yeah. It was I always at 2 a.m. What time is it? My my phone is smart. And Your phone is on her own. I know. <laughs> and then I can look at my phone and then change the oven and the microwave and the stereo. <laughs> There's a lot of states that don't do it anymore. Well, it's a pain in the butt. Let me tell you what. I know it is. Like, I, now I, it's going to be dark at four. Yeah. And my kids, it's so hard for my kids. Like, I appreciate, I'm sure dad does, you know, getting up super early mm -hmm. to drive to Wanda Pump Dam. He would drive in the dark and drive home in the dark. He'd never see sunshine for six months. But, That's right. you know, I mean, sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. And if, you know, yeah, duty calls. <laughs> Mama that, needs new shoes. <laughs> Get your I'll get you a UV light bulb. And that kind of reminds me. I feel like we should whisper. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Do it. There, might, there might be a paw sighting. <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't know that he realizes that that we can see down that hallway. <laughs> so uh, we won't know. But he's here doing some maintenance. He's changing some light bulbs. And when we have a lot of rain, we have a flat roof that, yeah. oh my God. And we have to scrape the snow off of the flat roof. And we repair it every single year. And every single year we find new holes and new things that are leaking. So he's here today doing that. Yeah. So. Maintenance man. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> If we don't scare him off, there might yeah. be a sighting. There you go. <laughs> the elusive <laughs> paw. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Um, was there any other like announcements that we needed to make? Um, if there is, we might think of it. Um, I the uh, uh, we've thanked you multiple times, but we just have to thank you one last time for the raving success of our breast cancer yeah. fundraiser. Oh it my gosh. Impressive, guys. You know, you guys are super, 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 super awesome. And the, the uh, recipients, uh, we're putting these packages together for them because in addition to the money that you guys gave us to mm -hmm. give to these people, everybody's getting a thousand dollar check. Awesome. Um, but also, um, gosh, uh, um, Let's yeah, see. We got Teresa some. had um, um, uplifting like jewelry that jewelry. had really great, you know, sayings on them. Chris Click did some breast cancer keychains. Keychains. Uh, We've got some. Um, oh, prayer prayer quilts. prayer quilts, pocket prayer quilts. Mm -hmm. Those are from Ruthie. From Ruthie, and there was something else in there. And then we put stickers in there. Oh, stickers. And then I had a couple other little things. I had, you know, some people sent only 10 of something and some people seven of something. So some packages are a little bit different from others, but I have That's some other. That's cool though. That's yeah, fun. It's really cool. It's fun that it's not just, uh, and we sent them a really nice card. Um, Describing uh, from, what it is. Yeah. For what it is. And just in case they don't know. And uh, we did not individually mention uh, the friend that nominated them. But what we did say is if you go here and go to this page, you'll see your name, you'll recognize your name and maybe the name of the person who might Not be familiar to you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, and it's funny too, people say all the time, they'll say, I love watching you, but I always think my phone is ringing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's because of where we are. I, I was looking, I just can't find the phone. It feels like it's right behind us though. I mean, it's literally, it's usually right over there, but yeah. Yeah. We know where it is. It rings all the time. No the matter time what, it's not ringing is because somebody is on it. Yeah, it rings all the time, even when we're not open. Or well, I think hours. a lot of people call at different times, and so to them it might be ten o'clock, but right. here it's seven. And I totally get it. If I'm thinking of it right now, yeah. I'm gonna call, leave my voice message, yeah, yeah. and then you return my call, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah. I remember." Yeah, you know, because I I call a lot of businesses at five thirty in the morning. It's like okay. Check, check, check. It's any other time. <laughs> call me. <laughs> call me. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. When you think of it, you have to call. And yeah. Leave your message and you yeah. know they'll call you back eventually. And yeah. Mostly, I mean, here it's probably not time sensitive unless, you know, your shipping address came in wrong and then. Oh, you need. You, it shouldn't email. People usually email us over yeah, that. That's good. And we catch that right away. Yeah. Because Tracy always checks it before she starts her label making. She does. 
All right, let's see. A couple other little things. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed on Wednesday, the dragonfly dance. We did get the um, pre-cuts. Yes. They came in like right after we done we finished filming. The guys walked in. Hey, I found a box. I forgot to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Anna did add it in like the recap. Thing, yeah, I in case picture. you missed that, um, there are five inch squares, jelly rolls, and 10 inch squares. Yeah. Um, we are totally out of the pattern. I mean, the, I mean, the panel. Yeah. In and fact, the... 42 inch wide ombre could be gone by now. Yeah. I do have enough of an extra wide, the 108, but um, I got an extra bolt of that, but there's not a lot of that left. Mm -hmm. But there's yeah. still a bunch, you know, it's just so beautiful that, yeah, even, you know, if you have a favorite 10 inch square pattern that you use or it's jelly roll. Really pretty. Yeah. And we, I think we have six each of these and these and maybe a dozen or something of those. So, yeah. so those are good. So those did come in. We should mention that. And then the other thing that came in was finally, um, but now since we had to replace a bunch, I think there's only like four <laughs> now, but um, there was kind of a run on these. I don't know if there was a bunch of beginners that were watching or what was happening, but of course this is, this is something that um, uh, every beginning quilter needs. All right. So that was Paul. Yeah. <laughs> you might see him again when he comes back. Yeah. <laughs> How long it takes us. <laughs> What's funny is people who come up for um, retreats, um, he's actually pretty friendly. You know, he's shy yeah. and he's quiet. But if you talk to him, I'll talk to you. He'll totally talk to you. And <laughs> he, he might... even recognizes people usually. Yeah. And so so it works pretty good. I think he's now calling me. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> um, but, uh, but anyway, so yeah, so he's here. Uh, normally he has, he drives a pickup and Lizzie rides around with him. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And again, people who are up here hanging out with us, they see that she just sits in the pickup and won't hardly and you get can't out. Get, you can't get her out. You can open the door, call sure, her, get out. Nope. Mm -mm. There's a possibility we're going to go somewhere for a part or for a something. So she just hangs Doesn't out there. It. So he's here doing all of this kind of little maintenance -y kind of stuff, you know, so she's all excited thinking, oh, it's time to go. You know, she had to come to work with me, but she gets to go. She's very sad, she but it's because he's in his car. Yeah. She can't so, ride in his car or his pretty No, truck. he had to, yeah, he actually had a doctor's appointment this morning. And so yeah. anyway, and that's why he's vehicle. not in his coveralls. Yeah. So just, Ben probably said, wait a minute, what's, what's he wearing? Why do you like so fancy? <laughs> he had to go see the doctor. Get on a clean shirt. Okay. Your dog is hovering. I know. Oh, she's very upset. It's okay. He'll be back. She almost wagged. She's not going <laughs> to do, do it. She's not going to do it. Not going to do it. In dog time. It's been 45 minutes already. Yes. <laughs> In real life, it's been two. <laughs> Sad Mom, face. take me somewhere. I need a pop cup. We'll go back in the zoo and see if there's any food back there. <laughs> oh, that made a wag. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, let's go see the baby. <laughs> All right. All right. Pull the reference tool. So um, the other thing, so we have a box of some weird things. We had to open up because we had to fill up um, some. Before waiting for some Yeah. Things. And this was something, I don't know, there was like some sort of a run on these or something. It's I don't know if a bunch it's of new beginners. Happen. Yeah, everybody, if you're a beginner or you just, even if you're not a beginner, the math in here, you just want to know. If I'm making um, a bunch of half square triangles, how many five inch squares do I need if I have to make 120 or whatever? How many five inch squares do I get in a yard of fabric? What is the actual measurement of a bed that's yeah. a twin, a full, a queen? Um, how much backing do I need for this? So um, whatever it is. Math. You don't have massive, to do any math. Charts. Just, yeah. A charts. You didn't even know that you needed all of this information. Mm -hmm. And it is that's really great. nice too, because it'll open flat the way that they've, um, the way that they've done it. So mm -hmm. anyway, so those were back in stock. The um, Viola apron and the church ladies, right? We have both of them now. Uh, we have that one and the crisscross, criss which cross. was the gardening one she showed last week. Yeah. 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 A lot of people are. I don't have church ladies yet. It is coming. Oh. Um, it is, um, wasn't available. And then, um, oh, this is the, uh, both of these are the oil? Yes. Yeah, I know. They come in a funny package now. Yeah. Um, this is just a Zoom spout. It's just a water-based uh, machine oil. So when you're cleaning up your machines and you want to give a little bit of oil in your bobbin spot, um, this is perfect. It'll last a really long time. I use it on my long arm and my faff embroidery machine. I go through a lot um, of it. It works great. I also use it, um, I don't necessarily have to oil a whole lot on my off machine but what i'll do is i'll take like a q-tip and i'll put oil on the q-tip and then i'll kind of run it around and it'll get any excess lint bunnies that are just kind of hiding behind waste. spaces and at the same time the lint bunnies are of course super attracted to my oil q-tip and i'll also just leave a little smear so 
it's how I clean it. It's most efficient to me and um, when I remember to do it. And depending upon what long arm, maybe there's different um, things now, but for for us, we both quilt long arm on an Innova. Mm -hmm. Every single time you change your bobbin, you put in one drop of oil on your race. So um, maybe it's different now, but. Um, and then there's just spraying ink, a pink pen. Oh, a hot pink one. Yeah. I guess I don't remember a pink one. We should always get the purple one. Awesome. Maybe because it was October. Well, I just got delayed. Finally got back. <laughs> and then the other thing that came was um, oh. featherweight pieces. Yeah. Um, so we did get a whole box a couple weeks ago and then already needed to replace bobbins. Um, we have a 10 pack and a 15 pack of featherweight bobbins. It's the 201 or the 301. It's whether it's the black one or the white one. Um, these bobbins will fit and they come in these really cool tubes. Yeah, I think they're super neat. Um, I can special order for you just the tubes. So if you're hankering for empty tubes, just shoot info at fabricpatch.net. Um, an email and I can get empty ones of these in I think this size maybe both sizes. I don't know but I can't get empty ones people someone had asked me if I could or not I can if you want them but I don't carry them in stock what else would you put in there if people had extra bobbins hmm. I um super bobs um come in some of these plastic containers and mm -hmm. I like them um just keep them organized but sure it's kind of a nice organized way yeah. I have a little um bobbin donut or bobbin boat so yeah um and then a quarter inch foot so a quarter inch foot that will fit your feather weight. weight so this one is doesn't have a little flange on it and then we also have in stock that we got last week was the one with the little flange so it's a little guide that your fabric butts up against so and then oh it's an open toe yeah, yeah. an open toe with no piece on your edge so you could use it for on this last retreat fishing. i think that three was it only three, one, three or four two, people? Three. Yeah, because Shelly didn't bring... Oh, did Shelly sew on hers? She usually brings hers, but Shelly didn't have that one. Oh, maybe not. But yeah. Brought There's so away. much fun well, to sew on. Yeah. And they don't take up very much space. You have all the rest of that space for the rest of what you're yeah. doing. And yeah, a featherweight only does a straight stitch, but do yeah. quilters don't need a whole lot of extra ones. Yeah. You know? Just all bonus features. So, um, this should be, so today is Denise's three year anniversary. We're going to have to do this with her. I know. That's what I think. Denise. It's a, it's a treat it's box. Here. I heard my name. Come we on. Have a, we have a try treat Those box. Those of you guys that come into the shop, uh, you guys all know Denise. Um, she is here every day that we're open. She's been here for three years, uh, Denise and Devon. You guys have met Devon. Three years? Before. It's only been three, three years. I know. Three. That's what I, said. I mean, I in the best way, I mean. I know. That. Oh, that's so long. I'm so glad. <laughs> I know. I know. I guess it's a little it's hard, hard to remember that. you not at a time when you weren't here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing. Well, it's it's a good at thing. least I miss sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Denise is. Um, very important uh, to the shop and it's always nice because people who come and come to retreats and they come down and they come in in droves and yes. then they always come back and go oh you have the best oh, yeah you have Good. the nicest people denise loves to help you um pick out fabric and then you sometimes if you um place an order you'll hear from denise yeah and denise is always very good about uh oh we don't have enough of that she'll go find something first she has very very good taste and she'll text you pictures so so this is denise if you've not yet ever um, set eyes on De Denise before. So we got this for your anniversary. Oh, cool. It's a <laughs> snack box. Uh, snack we box. are exploring Korea today. Um, population is 51 million, uh, 181,000. Um, they speak Korean and English. Um, oh, tiny. Land mass is 96,920 square kilometers. I mean, it's still small. I mean, exactly. even in kilometers. The size of what do they say the size of the state of? No, no, no. I don't know what that means. Um, capital is Seoul, of course. Cap Jordan's been their Seoul. kilometers and my our miles just don't. I know we don't, don't point you. Feel. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's two point two pounds. Uh, climate is temperate with rainfall heavier in summer than winter, and they have very cold winters. Hmm. Um, let's see. Did you know approximately 90% of the world's seaweed used for consumption, <laughs> like sushi, they said, think sushi, no. comes from South Korea. I hope there's no seaweed in here. 
Oh, uh, I bet you're going to get one or two. I will not do well. I will not, <laughs> not do it. Yeah. Um, live like octopus is frequently consumed oh, in South, by South that Koreans. That is a no for me. Great big no, no. I've seen, I'm pretty sure, you know, Bones or some sort of medical show where that was a really bad thing to do. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, South Korea is known for the world's capital of plastic surgery. Didn't know that. Uh, Soju, S-O-J-U, is the most popular type of alcohol in South Korea. It is um, around 19% alcohol, very strong, and is a grain or potato-based vodka. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Um, Did you... J-E-J-U, the largest island in South Korea, houses large stone statues. It's believed that touching these statues, known as, oh, got nothing, um, aids infertility. Oh. <laughs> I was going, oh. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> I got enough. And then you do have a Korean rice and mixed vegetable um, recipe card in here. Awesome. They are very um, healthy healthy but they're very um oh what's the word uh their traditions are very Hel- you know, uh, yeah oh yeah 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 i've heard that too yeah all right okay. all right so if you don't know what this is it's kind of fun and we get one every once in a while so this is the try yeah mm-hmm. so what they do is they send us a box um, it's an influencer package. Mm-hmm. And so they want us to um, talk about it. And then when we talk about it, uh, we give you guys a little code. So we'll yep. flash it there. And then you just use that code. And I think you get 15% off. Is that what they say? Yeah. the Your first box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it can be a subscription. Christmas is coming. So what's kind of fun is that family that you don't know what to get something for. It's kind of fun. They get um, it's treats a more and you cut from things. the the country and you can see how big the box is it's fairly good size and it's always kind of fun we have a pretty good time with it there's always something in there that is super super good and there's always something in there that is not good at all <laughs> and um but it also seaweed. gives you seaweed. <laughs> but it also gives you the information about yes. it the card and so you kind of know with your taste testing and so it's kind of cool i always kind of like it so and it's fun. a fun place to know where you want to like, travel later um explore somewhere different it's pretty fun and then you can also go to their website and there's a possibility you can buy more of that particular treat yeah um which is pretty cool okay those this is called chocolate corn chocolate corn puff a oh, chocolate so corn so puff so are cocoa. crunchy rice puffs in a chocolate flavor you know chocolate corns have similar texture to cheetos but instead of cheesy delights of cheetos you will experience a unique taste of chocolate okay this is not bad no. it does it's weird because it does it feel tastes, like a. It smells like those cocoa rice puffs. Yeah. No yeah. rice um, cereal. It's yeah. it tastes like the the cocoa cereal the cocoa cocoa, cocoa puffs. puffs cocoa fu- puffs. puffs. Except it's chocolate air chocolatey. Where's the milk? Not bad. Yeah. Thanks the kids cereal. will love these. Yeah, maybe they'll get a out of that. Yeah, these are really good. Good. I like yeah, that. Those are good. I can eat more of those. There's two of these. These are little cocoa. Choc- choco pies. Like a moon pie. Um, uh, they are biscuits layered with chocolate and marshmallow. Oh, it's a moon pie. It's a moon pie. Um, the chocolate coating of the cocoa or, or choco pie. pies and surrounded the, the inner pie. layer of the marshmallow. Fun tip. Some people refer prefer mm-hmm. to freeze the moon pie. Mm-hmm. these before you eat them. It's a moon pie. It's a moon pie. I've moon- never tried it frozen. Uh, mo- fun fact about a moon pie is that um, when Jordan was in the service, that was mostly what I sent him. It was it's his favorite treat. It's his favorite treat. They, they also take him to the the astronauts. Take him as well. Oh, to the moon. Turtle mm-hmm. chips by Orion. <laughs> 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 they are a unique and popular chip known for their light, crispy texture. They feature a distinctive four-layered structure. Resembling the shell of oh, a turtle, which that's... gives them their name. Are they hot? Spicy? Yeah, they're spicy. Oh, oh yeah. They smell they're spicy. They're flame and lime. Way to go, Mom. Flame and lime. Gonna have to get some of that chocolate to watch it down. They remind me of those bugle ones. Oh, they're really good. Those are good. I like the layer. Do you think it's too spicy? I feel like it's just... It's it could be way hot. Right. I think I wasn't expecting, expecting it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it makes me think of those 3D um, Doritos. <laughs> They're good. No, they now, and I would say... Bugle, those bugle yeah. chips. Very except, good. Except I think the bugles are greasy. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. 
Super, super good. So far, this box and, is a win. Yeah. And I would say that, I mean, they have a little bit of spice to them, but not nearly um, not like that stuff. Yeah, not like to keep, uh, the Takis or okay. the Spicy Cheetos. In fact, your kids would, all totally of your that. kids would totally, it's almost barbecue-y. Yeah. Not really spicy. Their flame and line has nothing to do with our Ugh. flamings. Let me just tell you. We're just, we're just going to give this right to Tracy, right? Oh, yeah, because I'm quite sure that's probably toasted seaweed, or otherwise known as lava. Oh. It is um, it's a traditional Korean snack made of seaweed, crunchy in texture, and savory in taste. Is this snack is a favorite. Jelly. Latte. It's yogurt. It's yogurt jelly. <laughs> delightful and refreshing candy that combines the creamy taste of yogurt with the chewy texture of jelly Ooh. presented in a resealable packaging that makes them perfect for on the go snacking. Are they little pieces? It looks like a, like a little fruit snack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like little gummies. <gasps> it's a little bottle. Coca-Cola. It, it smells it really good. It felt slimy, which was why. Oh. They're really good. They're good. They're really good. They're good. Not yogurt jelly. It's just a fruit snack. It's really good. Yeah. yeah it's like a um, Haribo yeah. gummy, only really flavorful. It almost reminds me of Albanese um, oh, yeah. bears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Gummy, gummy Very bears. mild taste, but Super good. Super good. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Not what I was picturing in my head. No. These look like... I love um, those. You know oh, I them? love those. Yes, we can get them here. I don't know what we call them. They're Concho Cocos. Um, if you see the box, you guys will probably have seen them in your store. I can buy them in little, like, individual packages for the kids. Their biscuits are bite-sized, crunchy biscuits filled with chocolate. Um, they come in a cute package and adorable-looking love-struck mascots named uh, Canny and Choney. Choney? Yeah, they're... I mean, I think... Oh, I'm American. These are good. <laughs> Yeah, these are good. These are a win. Totally. I, I don't think I've ever had one of these. Oh, really? I don't have the Pocky. Oh, the Pocky. I good. think they have like the chocolate it's a round inside Pocky. Of them. That's all it is. It's almost like the sticks that you buy that have yeah, the Pocky. chocolate over it. Pocky. Exact same thing. Wow. Super this good. Super good. This is a good box. Uh -huh. Okay, so if you can just go in and pick a box. This is a good box. Pick um South Korea. Seoul. Um, yeah, super good. My kids get those all the time. All right, I'm not a coconut fan. Not a coconut I'm fan. I'm not a coconut fan either. What Nor am I. Butter coconut sweet biscuit. Um, see them. Oh, right there. Oh, it's very coconutty. Butter coconut biscuit are crunchy, delectable cookies. Um, that it doesn't taste coconut. Oh, may that it smells that may catch you off guard. Um, it hats has. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of chocolate. It's a in this coconut. One. Has a unique taste. taste of buttery. Um, with would, a hint of coconut. That drink, people that drink tea, I think it would go really well with that. Mm -hmm. It's a very, like, crispy cookie. It almost looks like a biscoff. Mm -hmm. But it's it's coconutty. It's coconut not, a coconut not a can. hint of coconut? It does have a hint. I would say a hint of coconut. But, you can but it's not overpowering or anything. No, you can smell it and you can taste it after. But if you dipped it in your coffee, you would not know it. Mm -hmm. This uh -huh. is custard. Custard. Custard oh, cream cake. cake. Um, is a moist and fluffy cake with delicious custard cream filling that melts in your mouth. The texture of the cake is moist and satisfying, fluffy with a silky smooth taste. That was a whole lot of extra words here. Just a nice cream custard cream. Oh, it's oh, good. Oh. Can you see? Oh, hold it up so they can see the top of it. You can kind of see the little cream in there. Cute. All right, take a bite. Tell us what you think. Oh. It's, it's, it's your, your anniversary, anniversary present. You Happy get the anniversary. cupcake. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say the flavor. It says it's a custard cream. It reminds me of a Twinkie. Oh, a Twinkie. Oh, a Twinkie. Mm. Oh, yeah. Show them. There's something in there. Think of a fancy Twinkie. What does it smell like? Cake. 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 Is there anybody else that has to smell your food before you eat it? I have to. I don't know. I always have to. If I'm not sure, if what I can do. smell it, if I can smell it as I'm eating it, I'm okay. Otherwise, I've never noticed. I have to smell it. I've never noticed that I do it. I'm gonna start watching. It's so you do. <laughs> DNA. Is that, I think that is. A is this is Swiss decision. I think it's a Margaret cookie. It's a cookie with French butter and peanut filling. 
packed with nutrients including vitamin B, iron, and fiber. These soft and sweet biscuits okay, are a treat me. for the whole fabric. For the whole it's family. healthy. It's a peanut butter cookie. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. Pull it out. I'm trying to pull it out of there, but I didn't want to touch. It's called it a says, margarita. Aren't we family it does now? look like a peanut. We are. <laughs> it does look like a peanut butter cookie. French butter and peanut. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does have. It's like crunchier on like the outside and soft on the there. inside. It doesn't smell like peanut butter. It is really good. It's a little dry for my taste, but it is really good. Oh, it's very good. It's another dipping. Mm -hmm. Dip it in your hot tea. Oh, that's very good. Be I'm fast about it, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like these are all wins. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that's seaweed. Yeah, but, but, but it won't go to waste. <laughs> is that is that licorice? It looks licorice. Premium? It? No, it says it's a premium chocolate chip cookie, soft in texture, and is made with real chocolate chips. Its flavor and soft texture gives it that ha that homemade cookie feel. Oh, it does look like a chocolate chip cookie. I thought it was oh. an Oreo. It just looks like a regular. Yeah, got it. Chocolate chip cookie. Chips it's ahoy! Chips ahoy. <laughs> yeah. Can they see it? Sure. Yeah. And it's kind of thick. It yeah, is thick. how thick it is. It does. It looks just like a Chips Ahoy cookie. Oh, and it is softer than a... But, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was the last time. It was chocolatey. This was a great mm -hmm. box. I, everything in it was good. Oh, it's way better than Chips Ahoy. Don't I tell me disco I said that. That's it's better. Mm -hmm. It's also funny because I think that not every other country uses all of the nasty ingredients that we use. Oh, hands down. Because mm -hmm. there's this new fun thing that I'm sort of addicted to. I don't know if it's Facebook, TikTok, whatever, but it's these two British guys. They're just hilarious. They're probably like in their early that 30s. That go to the kids to, to taste? Oh, I don't know. I've never seen them with kids, but they say... We're going to get arrested. We're going to eat yeah. food that is banned <laughs> in the UK and Europe. Yeah, and I watched the whole them too. And it's red vines. Nope, like, serious. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they spell fruit this way? And what is this little parrot doing? <laughs> Let's taste well, it. I think it's the two that you're talking about. They came to the United States and they ordered um, uh, ribs. Mm. And they were going to eat it with the fork. And this guy goes... No, no, don't that here. we don't do that here. Let me show you how. Yeah. <laughs> Could be the same guy. They also yeah. give you a chart on the back. This is the best, the worst, the weirdest. Oh, fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a fun family box. Again, you know, Christmas yeah. is coming. And if you're thinking of some weird, you know, if you have grandkids or kids that live across the country and you want them to think of you every month. Yeah. It is kind um, of and it's not expensive. And it's this is a fun. really good box. None this of is this box. is yes. going to go to waste. Because I don't think, was there anything in here we didn't like? No. There wasn't well, any, oh, we are not fans of coconut, so. You got but, one box of cookies that might not. But other than well, that. The only time I like coconut is on the Girl Scout cookies. Oh, you <laughs> like that? I like that. Oh, the Samoas? Yes. Me too. likes the smoke. Really? Uh, and I don't like coconut no, at all. I don't like coconut. Thin mints for me all the way. So, yeah. My favorite, what was you guys' favorite? I think Ooh. my favorite was this. Those are really, really good. Or... Oh, those are good. Too. And these, these are those are good. good. You can get what were the little round? Oh yeah, those things. The little round things. These guys. The and little these little things. these little things the were coat, good. The peanut butter yeah. cookie. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it was all good. You know, we can get these here. You those? know, chocolate the, pies. Well, oh, moon, moon pies. pies. That's true. Mm -hmm. I like it. It was good. Anyway, super super good. Now so I we'll put the, do realize they have you know Americanized the box. So if you're from well, South yeah. Korea or know someone from South Korea, they might you might say, "Oh gosh, I've never seen that," or that is so not as good well, as this brand. We don't know. We just yeah, know because it. Because I remember thinking box. we looked to see what was in the American box, and it was weird. It's like that's not what I was. There's lots for you. of maple and yeah, but I think we're, oh because they did North America, North America, so they did a lot of Canadian stuff too. Mm -hmm. But I also think it's so weird. Uh, the United States is so different. Diverse. Whether you're up here with us, down in the south, um, in the east, in the Midwest, yeah. it doesn't matter. I think it's so different regionally, depending on where you live in the States, that you could have a box for every time zone and it'll still maybe not agree with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But Well, that's why it's really nice because you guys send us treats. Yes, it's and we nice. get to taste it. Yes. yes. That is true. So we like it. Well, that is right, a well, super treat box. Nice to you. You. Um, if you want to try a treat box, I will have all of the links yeah. um, in the description below so you guys you can, can get use. savings. Yeah, get yeah. your coupon, use it, buy the South Korea box and have fun. Yeah. You yeah. can do it for Thanksgiving. You'll have it for Thanksgiving. It'd be fun for a classroom thing if you really like your 
teacher. Um, oh, they might have to be careful, though, because of allergies. Yeah, probably. But everything is labeled. That's true. You gotta think about it. I don't know. Anyway, I, I always enjoy it when Roger. Yeah. Roger is the guy. Hey, they are. Send you another box. Fun. Great. Send it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's super fun. Yeah. So, yeah. In the description, right. I'll have all the um, information you need to get your 15% off your box. And um, try it. It's plus, just in time for Thanksgiving. Plus, the box is really good for quilting, too. That's true. Yeah. It's a good it's a box. It's a good box. reusable box. We're us yeah. uh, uh, yeah. in our boxes, right? Yeah. Hey. Boxes That's are right. Okay. That's we're going right. to clean this up, and then we're going to get um, a motor box. Motor boxes. Oh. We missed out on Tracy. Tracy's here somewhere. You guys will see her in a little bit, but um, she's running around somewhere. Yeah. Tracy, though, has not been eating sugar or flour. She probably wouldn't have tasted any of those. Fortunately, there was seaweed for her. There's something snack. <laughs> All right. This is called a field of flowers. Oh, this is pretty. Really pretty. Who is this? Catherine Watson. Do I know who that is? Uh, I, it's not ringing a bell for me, but it almost it's looks really like, pretty. Yeah, it's very modern. Oh, look that one. I love the mixture. That almost gives it a fall look if you wanted to do something pretty fall. The little. blue and the teal. Mm -hmm. and the tan. Really All right. Pretty. I've got um, two more boxes. It looks like maybe a small pre-cut box. Yes. So we'll get All everything right. unpacked and we'll share it with us. Mm -hmm. Tracy's going to try our seaweed. Tracy's going to gonna try the seaweed. Because we're not brave enough to. No, I'm not. <laughs> you might try it out. Get in there. Denise says she's going to do it. She's going to try Just Take a little lick. <laughs> I don't like it, though. Here we go. You do Tracy like likes it. Seaweed. I do like it. So, I'm just, yeah. Um, we'll let you be the guinea pig first. Mm. She likes it, though. I love she it. likes she's gonna tell it. you it's great. Just break them a little place. My Mikey will struggle. eat anything. And no. then do you think that a lot of the stuff that we sell here probably comes from Korea? I don't I mean, does that taste any different from others? It's not stuff? bad at all. Mm -hmm. It really isn't. It's, it's mm -hmm. not bad. It has a little spice to it. Oh, a little seasoned? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not eating it. <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm gonna eat, but it's like a leafy. Yeah. From <laughs> toasted. <laughs> Now where's the chocolate to wine? I know, it? right? This is really pretty. Yeah, this really, really pretty. I really like it. So, and it's called what? Field of Flowers. Field of Flowers. It's very modern. It's very, I mm -hmm. feel like, super into what the upholstery is going on and um, uh, chairs and stuff. I feel like I've seen some of these prints like in chairs, um, which is pretty cool. I it's think this a nice like home deck, yeah. Type if you're, yeah, mm -hmm. you need some curtains, bags. Yeah, I think this is like perfect bag bag fabric. Mm -hmm. Um, whether you're looking for a really big print or something a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. or maybe both, because you're gonna do a whole little ensemble of a big mm -hmm. bag and two smaller bags, but and really good colors: blue, teal, cream, and then that mustardy yellow, yeah. which is really really nice. And I feel like she put. You'll see when we look at the colors up close, but she put it where if you didn't want any teal, you could just do creams and mustard or. Cream. Yeah. I think she did it really good thinking, well, if you only want this color store, you can yeah. build it off of this. Yeah. Um, I think they did a really good job. And I maybe she's too. a new designer. Maybe so. Show um, them the picture. It's this gal. I'm not sure who she is. This is Catherine Watson. So maybe she's probably some Instagrammer, yeah. blogger, maybe whatever. Um, Moda has been getting new designers lately. And mm -hmm. so she's just not one that brings a bell, which doesn't yeah. necessarily anything. Yeah. Um, we've got layer cakes. We do have a fat quarter bundle. We only got the locale from Moda, which means we got half the order. Um, Catherine herself 20 picked pieces. the 20 pieces that would look great together. Um, but you will see you'll have, um, I think there's like 32 fat mm -hmm. quarters actually in the fat quarter bundle. So you'll have fabric that is not here in here. Mm -hmm. Five inch squares and the two and a half inch strip. Two and a half inch strip. Super pretty. All right. And look up close. It's really, really, really pretty. And what will happen is as you're looking at it, <clears throat> what you'll see is that probably there are, like, see where you see um, different textures. There's probably, um, you know, a yellow one in this texture. So beautiful. Yeah. Really, really nice. Are you starting on this then? Yeah. So this one is kind of fun. So we have this one in a uh, I think like three different colors, but again, uh, what you're missing in the 32 would be probably another piece 
of that in a different color, but this is in that nice white with the blue. Here's these really pretty little posies on the blue, and that's kind of a solid blue background. I love this. That is just really cool. Yeah, I like that in every color. Mm-hmm. We have it in quite a few. Here's some other, more of a dense flowers. It looks like there's maybe some poppies and some little daisies in there. Here we've got our zinnias. and It's almost like dill. What is the flower, Tracy, that almost is like dill? It's yellow. It looks like dillweed. It's not, though. It's yellow? What is I this one? Oh, is the, oh, yarrow? Oh, yarrow. Yeah, oh, that yarrow. could be yarrow. Oh, yes. That could be yarrow. I don't know. I was thinking like ragweed or Queen Anne's Lace. Oh, like Queen Anne's Lace. lace. Oh, right, white. right. Queen Anne's Lace. So, um, and you can see that there's just a lot of really nice support textures. So this one we already saw in another texture. It's just in a different color. This one we saw in a different color. Same texture. Gosh, this would also look really good in Hollywood. Yeah. Like one of these really cool beiges to be your five and a half yard piece. Beautiful. So it's just, I love this one. Really, really like this. Just so clean. Here's the other one, all of the flowers. And so the difference is the background color on the little tan. Here is almost all on the little teal background. Really nice, a little bit of all of the colors. I love this one, scattered little daisies. And we only have this in the two colors, this one and then in the blue. This one we have in, I think, almost every color. That's that same one. This one was like the first one that we saw, just the scattered leaves. This is in the, I keep calling this mustard, but it's not quite so orangey. It's really more yellowy, more of a fresh color. Yeah, I think that's coming through in really good color. Yeah, okay, good. Just a nice little field. That mustard and teal is a cool combination. It really is. And this is the exact same print, just opposite. And then, oh, I love this one. Of the large prints, I think I like this one the best. I just think, you know, it's just minimal colors. I really like it. Okay, so I have to my left here two EE shank boxes and a checker box. So we're going to go ahead and open those up. And um, they're small enough ones that more might notions. be more notions. Um, ooh, um, not quite. Um, this is Precious Pink. These are Island Petiques. Um, so this is 40 two and a half inch pink strips. Um, it says it's 20 different fabrics. So you're going to get two of each. And there's 42 on this one. Um, what's really cool about the doubled up is if um, you've ever thought about doing a Bargello, there's actually a book called Jelly Roll Bargello, um, which uses jelly rolls. It uses strips, but they really like, there's a few of them in there that you want two of each color. So having something like this makes a Jelly Roll Bargello crazy fast. These are super beautiful. I wonder if we had ordered these hoping to get them for October. Oh, it's possible. Sure. I love how Island Batik does this. This is something that was be propped up on my bookshelf. <laughs> yes. I need to look at. Yes. Yes. A glitch. Yes. pretty to sew. So uh, nice. 10 inch squares and two and a half inch strips. Yeah. Beautiful. Really, really pretty. For all my pink lovers out there. Um, I've got the uh, batting on a roll. So this is a two and a quarter inch wide by 50 yards. This is works really well if you're going to do a Camden bag, a jelly roll rug. Um, these are those pre-cut batting pieces. I, you're going to use a two and a half inch strip. So you could even use those pink jelly rolls we just got. And I like the two and a quarter. I know you can use two and a half fabric, two and a half batting. The two and a quarter just gives you a little bit of extra wiggle room. And then use that fabric tube turner from Clover. And it makes a jelly roll rug super duper fast. You could get it done in the weekend. So the pre-cut batting or cut your own. It doesn't matter. And then we got the fusible tape. So the fusible tape is, um, it comes in the two inch wide for 30 yards, or it comes in the one inch wide 
two 15 yard um, spools. So again, no, no, no. Two 30. So it's literally same this amount. Whacked in half. Right, right, right. Same so exact amount. 30 yards to one inch or two inch. One roll. It gets mom confused every single time. It doesn't get me. Pick your width. It's all, it's uh, both it's the are same amount. 10 bucks because it's the exact same amount of fabric. All we did is you either have a two inch roll or we've whacked this roll in half and given you two one inch rolls. You explain it to me so well every single time. As like, wait, which one did they order? Pick your width. Which one did they order? Yes. Pick, Pick your width. width. Pick your width. So, and if you don't know what it is, <laughs> if you don't know what it is or how to use it, what you want to do is if you have those leftover pieces of batting, you know, and we save them thinking, oh, we're going to make some table runners and we're going to make some mug rocks. I'll and, use it. And then all of a sudden, you know, that basket that has all of that in there, there's way, way, way too much. And so all you have to do is just butt those pieces together. And then when you butt those together, I just do it right on the ironing board and then lay this out. It's basically a fusible um, interfacing. Yeah, super. And difficult. then just iron it down. And then you can take this really weird piece of batting that's got maybe an 80-20 and it's got a 100% cotton. And some people, some cotton purists or quilting purists will say, oh, no, no, I never do that. I totally do it. I totally do it. All the time. It doesn't wash weird. I don't have like yeah. a wrinkly area and a puffy area. You would never, never know. And if um, you're giving it done. to someone who's just going to snuggle with a quilt, they're not going to know. No now, if you're know. going to enter this quilt into a show and you they want to, know. you want to use a ribbon, they might discretion not advised. Know. They might not know. You never know. They might just think, you know, whatever. But that's the only difference. If you're just yeah. doing it because you're doing it for a charity quilt, you're doing yeah. it because you're a quilter and you just quilt because you love it. No. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then there was more of the picture that pattern. So we showed this when um, we had the tree collection from Hoffman. It was it's really, really cool. Pattern. It's a really good pattern. It definitely shows off a focal piece, whether mm -hmm. that is a panel or just a really cool piece of fabric. Yeah. And then just some accent pieces to go around with it. So whether you want to use in some border print, if you want to use an ombre print, it's just really good, really cool. Gives you all the math to make it. You could easily make it bigger by adding a few extra borders, but it is already 72 by 88, just like this. Yeah. So really it's a really, really good nice. pattern. So I've got more of those in. And then um, this actually came in a different box, but we wanted to mention it anyway. More Apple stick is now in stock. I think we got like another 20 packets yeah. of it finally. And so <clears throat> we got some, was it last week or the week before? Sold out of that and now got more. So those of you guys that are addicted to this way of doing applique, you're welcome. We've got more. Yes, we have more. And if you're doing the hexes for the grandmother's flower garden, this mm -hmm. is the stuff that we've used. And then identipins. Um, the identipins are just an acid-free, permanent, super nice marker for quilt labels, um, permanent marking if you want to mark something permanent on a bag so you know exactly where to base that handle yeah. down. Um, you've got a fine point or a little chubbier tip. And the other thing that's nice about these is that they don't bleed. That's Sometimes true. people will pick another marker and then of course it just sort of runs through the fabric. These are, um, they don't bleed, they don't run, don't smear, don't fade, don't wash out, no dryer. Great I mean, they really are label. meant for clothing um, yeah. and fabric. So it worked really so well. So labels, signature quilts, yeah. whatever. If you're going to make um, a quilt for someone who's retiring and you want everybody to sign the blocks in the office, yeah. this is the pen you're going to want. Yeah. All right, we got a little box okay. and some big boxes. And I've got one more big box. Oh, one more um, big box. Of E.E. Shane. I'm going to okay. open it up down here. Looks like it could be... It's just light. So I don't know. Oh, got some pet tongues. Oh, oh, this was kind of fun. This was a pattern that we had a while back. Um, it's called Handmade uh, Doily, and this is two blocks. This is super fun. So that fabric that we just that oh, we just opened yeah. would be good because it's just two blocks, and you just sort of fuss around and make these two blocks. And, and it takes that really one cool. fat quarter bundle. Yeah. So twenty-one fat quarters. Yeah. Or that's also the equivalent of eleven half yard cuts. Yeah. Seven one yard cuts. Somewhere in there. Um, also in there, uh, fat quarters. So this goes to the colors pre-cuts we already have, which I think we have in 10-inch squares, 5-inch squares. And I think we have strips. I think the last people we were waiting for were fat quarters. Um, this is. one has 20 fat quarters. Mm, you could make that. Just let us know you need one more. We'll throw one more in for we'll you. throw it in for you. Um, and then I, it looks like an extra wide. Is it a flannel? 
No, is it? It doesn't look quite bulky enough. No, it is just cotton. But it is beautiful. This would go really good with the um, dragonfly if you open all the wood. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a little, um, almost like a denim texture. Mm -hmm. um, and color 73. It's like a peacock teal. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. So 108. Really nice texture. And check out the 108s. Um, yeah. There's a lot back there at the moment. It definitely is future it famine. Uh, yeah. as Time to choose from or not a red in sight. Yes. So, so yeah. as you are getting um, quilts finished and you're wanting to make sure you get that shipped off to your quilter or whatever, check out the 108s why there's still a huge um, abundance to look at. Yeah. Um, and again, Tracy will ship it right to your quilter. Put a little note on your order that says, hey, Tammy, this is for, you know, my quilt that's coming, you know, whatever. And Tracy will send it to whoever you want to send it to. She'll do it. You know, it doesn't matter. We'll fix that right. for you. And all of those are the same fat quarters? Yeah, they're all the same. Well, there are um, six of these. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, six. All right, so we have a little box. Um, I'm going to open this one because I know what this one is. Want to open that one? Yeah. Okay. Then I have two that I'll open next. I do. This is from um, our friend Mike. So, um, so you guys probably remember. So, um, four years ago, when we did our very first bra auction, the person that I was making my bra for and um, raising my money for was my friend Roseanne. Um, she used to live here. She was a best friend, moved away. Um, they moved away because he was a pilot and um, was doing crop dusting in South Dakota. Um, then he, um, something had happened, had a bad injury, no longer a pilot. And um, he works at the hardware store there. Um, she is homeschooling her grandkids, um, oh, had cool. fully recovered, uh, at the moment, cancer free, but she was having a rough time of it, had breast cancer, colon cancer, um, um, had a knee replacement, had a, a bunch of stuff going on, super healthy at the moment. Everything is good. And he, in the meantime, has decided that he loves to do hand blown glass. Oh, cool. So I think last year, maybe or the year the before, oh, yeah, the flowers. we did the flowers. So he had come up to, uh, retreat he um because roseanne came up to the retreat to the southern comfort retreat and when he came he brought this box of these flowers he was mobbed he was absolutely mobbed yeah. he didn't have enough for everyone we all bought them um fought oh, not really fought but you know it was kind of crazy and so um then he made some more and we sold those and super super nice this is his new thing and this is like super super amazing and i feel like um i want to make a little video to explain this um because we were talking about this um and talking about unicorns and um what happens with unicorns is we happen to know this mm -hmm. because we've seen them before so what happens is unicorns live up in the mountains a lot of people have seen unicorns before and they didn't realize it because what happens is just like um elk and deer uh their horns will fall off so their horns fall off and then all of a sudden they come down usually in the winter time they kind of hang out people think that they're wild horses they're actually unicorns yeah and then when it starts to grow back and they start to go up into the um, to breed and to raise their babies again, that's when you see the unicorn and, or you see the horn and then the horn falls off. And typically you don't find them because there are very specific unicorn hunters. Yes. Who find them. So this is a little box and the box has the name of the unicorn because they know and where this one came from. This particular unicorn horn came from Scotland. There. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that one's sparkly. Oh. Isn't that nice? You know, so you can see where it was it's attached awesome. and fell off. And you know, sometimes they're straight, oftentimes they're not, just like, you know, and they come in this really nice box, and the box has um, oh. some velvet in it. And so um, this one is also from Scotland. This one's Emmy. Emmy. <gasps> oh, look at that one. Wow. <laughs> I get this one. So 
These are fantastic. So they come with a, there's a little certificate and it comes in a special box and it's all labeled. And so these are authentic. That's very cool. These are super, super cool. And so then they can um, By the way, keep them, yeah, keep them in their little box. Uh, and so there's a bunch of them. So we're going to have to, we'll have Anna do some photography and get them on because they are, of course, um, one of a kind. Um, this one is Ramiel. Ra Ramiel? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Ooh, look at that one. This one. Look how pretty. I know. Mm -hmm. He must have liked being next to the streams. It's yes. a pretty color. Yeah. Makes me think of water. And I'm sure that there's stories, you know, as to, you know, which ones have which colors and why oh. and boys versus girls. So you have to stay tuned for more of that. But but these are beautiful. So um so we have I don't know how many for sure that we have. And what he's gonna do is um he is doing a special um, pre-release uh, price for you guys. So they are $95. Ooh, um, but what they'll sell for on his website is um, $125. Okay. So $95. Um, and again, they're one of a kind. So go in and now's the right time to get it for Christmas. Get it, get it home. Get it wrapped up. That's cool. very, very special. Very, very special. So um, anyway, they come from Authentic Unicorn Horn hunters. And the reason, oh, this is the other thing that you need to know is that the reason that the unicorn hunters are watching and they know these unicorns is because it's also the fairies that are looking for them. Because um, fairy dust is, of course, ground unicorn horns. Mm, it makes sense. Magic. Everyone knows that. Magical. Everyone knows that. It's what makes, you know, um, fairies fly and anything that they want to have fly. Which would make sense they know who the horn is because maybe Emmy is a friend and Emmy will go to the hunter and say, hey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Aww. So anyway, so there's a bunch of these. So look, and where will these be on the website? I'm going to put them put, under, you're going to put them in their own category for now? Um, I'm going to put them under gifts, but they're all gifts together. Um, gifts. So you'll click into unicorn horns and you'll see all the different shades and colors, whatever. Just like if you're buying t-shirts, you're going to click into the t-shirt you like and then pick your size. Yeah. Same age. Pick. And of course they are, you know, they're all different shapes, sizes, lengths. Um, they're pretty much all are about, cause they all come in this really nice, um, pretty labeled placard box. placard box, which is, what is that? About 12 inches? Yeah, probably. You know, so, so these are all the one size. year's growth of horn is mm -hmm. what they are. They're all shaped a little different. So anyway, special. I know super, super special. So it's nice that, um, uh, Mike being a friend of the fabric patch that you guys get some dibs. Yeah. It's good to have dibs. It's good to have dibs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to put these. I can't wait to look through all of these. And I know. That's the ones for my grandbabies. <laughs> at uh, Sunday at 1230. This one I'll show. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then I've got two more boxes down here. Oh, fabric. A fabric, a fabric. Ooh, yes. I, ooh, it does look like Tula. It does look. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, oh my totally gosh! Tula. This is her untamed. Who has been asking for this? Oh, okay. I might have it written down. Look at that one. Look at that one. I'm terrible because people will say, "Oh, be sure and let me know where can you order this." Place. And then she doesn't and tell somebody. Forget. Because then I always hate? think, of course I'll remember. Of course I'll know. You know? You know okay, who's good. waiting for this? Is it Kathy? Do you know who's waiting for? Somebody wanted a, <laughs> a blue 90 inch minky. 90 inch minky in a three yard cut. We so have four shades we of blue. The four shades of blue. Right over here. I cannot remember who I ordered that for. I kind of have to think maybe Kathy Schweitzer. I thought maybe Amy Vidrine. She said no. Anyway, whoever it was, it's she here. Didn't, she didn't tell anybody. I know. She just did it. I thought I would remember. Sometimes I'll write things down. It's like, oh, I don't know. I'll remember. As soon as I see it, it'll, it'll click in my head who it was. Mystery. All right. So I'm going to get the rest of um, Untamed and Buff. Um, oh, okay. I know. <laughs> Plastic off. Um, it's fitting. Unicorns Untamed, I'm just saying. Oh, my gosh. Meant to Meant be. To be. <laughs> Hound's tooth. <gasps> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the other box open, plastic off, we'll be right back. 
super, super bright. Lots of saturated color that is really good. Now, we just got eight pieces of Untamed. Mm -hmm. I know it's like a huge collection. However, we don't have a huge Tula Trooper following. Mm -mm. So we have lots of Tula here in the store, but we don't mm -hmm. we buy do. big collections of it because we don't sell it as well as mm -hmm. dragonflies and floors and other things. Mm -hmm. So if you are a Tula Trooper online, check out the Tula section. You might yeah, find we have some, some vintage yeah. stuff in there that's still there. That Yeah, so we, we have most of her, what are her, um, her... Her besties, her her basics, her basics. Um, dots and stripes. We have a lot of those. Yeah. And so I love, loved the Untamed. So I just got the big floral pieces that I feel like if you're not a Tula fan, you're just going to like the big, bold flowers. This and is then, beautiful. If you're not a Tula fan, you're still going to love this. Keep looking. Keep watching. It's, it's really cool. Like there's no animals. There's It's just awesome, cool floral. And we have this rule, we've talked about it before, that we buy what we sell, we sell what we buy. Yeah. So the stuff that you guys buy out of immediately, we'll order that designer and that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. Um, if it's stuff that you guys don't buy, then we won't reorder it. So we've kind yeah. of learned our lesson that way. So again, but this stuff, super, super cool. What is this called? It's called Untamed. Untamed. I just love her color. I love all of it. All right, so if we're going to start here. Beautiful big flower. I love all of the color. Oh, and that fluorescent pink that she does. And the little, it almost looks like a poppy seed pod. Oh, yeah. It looks like an, oh my gosh. This is fantastic. Isn't that just stunning? Yeah. So much color. Love this one. Oh, I love this one. I feel like this one is going to sell out kind of fairly immediately. I know I keep moving it. Sorry. Oh. oh. And it's not directional. It kind of goes every which way. Beautiful. And that really nice little teal check background. And these. That is awesome. That's fantastic. Gosh, I love, I love this. I feel like I need a pair of pants out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy doesn't believe me. <laughs> and then the raindrops. Good thing for our day Which here. Which one would you wear for pants? This. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, there's Margot, And then if you were going to wear any, I was, I'd say maybe, maybe the raindrops. Maybe the but the raindrops. I think that definitely. But what is that print? It's a hound's tooth. Hound's tooth with a diagonal yes. colorway in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Super Sweet. awesome. <laughs> I'll be dead. I know, I know, I know. I can't, I can't even wear yellow. <laughs> I don't even look at it sometimes mm -mm. unless it's a flower. I know. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, I'll have to tell you why it's all um, shaky and like we're, you know, going through an earthquake. Um, my camera. Our camera's I, broken. Yeah. I have a lens piece that flips out so you can see it. So, I can't see it. I have to look through the little peepee hole. And <laughs> so, I have to take the thing out. Peeping hole. Peeping. <laughs> peeping hole. The peep hole. <laughs> you know? So, I have to pick it up and do it. So, that's why. <laughs> She thought you said pee pee hole. Oh, the pee -pee, the pee -pee hole. <laughs> okay, this is not either a new Washington word or a rang word. I'm not sure. There's a lot of rang words that never make any sense. Okay, this morning I was um, getting dressed and brushed my hair, and I um, was facing, I have a big round couch in my bedroom now, and Ro, um, the dog, was the dog. on my couch. And so I'm standing there thinking and saying, to Ro, I said, what are you doing up there? You have mud on my couch. And you're sitting there. And Robert, Robert taps me. He's like, are you okay? He's like, what is, and I'm like, like what's wrong with you? He's like, oh, oh, the dog is sitting there. He, oh, <laughs> he, thought he was talking to you. He was talking to him. He doesn't know. I don't, he's like, oh, I didn't see the dog. I was like, I was sure I witnessed the snap. I just, I physically, I witnessed her go crazy. This is a very <laughs> second. She's just talking to her shadow. I don't, <laughs> Like, no, your dog is getting the dirt all over And this is this white, cool, fluffy couch. And, and this black dog with mud. Oh, yeah. She had, she went outside. It was rainy. She had to go warm up. Yeah. 
I Jezebel's know. on her dog bed, sitting kind of in the corner next to her, wagging her tail like, I told you so. <laughs> or maybe he's <laughs> happy that I didn't catch her up there. I, I don't Just know. Jump down. Just yeah. in time. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just in time. All right, so we're going to take you guys back to the zoo for a minute. and We're going to let that, Maisie. Um, we're going to let her taste some Korean treats. Yeah. And I don't know, because um, we went trick-or-treating. That was so uh, much yeah, fun. Yeah, I'll share a picture with everybody. Yeah, it was You'll super, see all of our fun. babies, and then um, Winnie the Pooh, you might not notice. That is Kimber. That is um, a, cousin. a cousin. So she yeah. came out with us. But you'll see all the babies. Yeah, and uh, Maisie, so she was just like a police She had her little car, yeah, is police what that officer. is. So a police officer. So she would even go, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but she was so mesmerized by everybody else dressed up. And, and even the masks. Yeah, and some guy had this wolf mask that was... Kind of scary. Yeah. And she looked and then she <laughs> starts laughing. Yeah. And like, I know you really did a wall. You. Yeah. And then she figured it out. She knew she had to say trick or treat and she would mm -hmm. say it. And if they put only one in there, she'd look at him and she'd put her hand in her bag like, uh, no, Fill it I up. need more. And then she'd get more. And, then, <laughs> and everybody would do it. Everyone did it. Not to say bye, sweetie. Catch you later. No. Keep on stepping. Um, no. And one, there was one they were guy. They just keep giving that, it to Yeah, it was just like looking at her. And he was kind of young. He's probably like 12. And she's holding it. And she's pointing and looking at him. And he's like, I gave you one. And he said that. Yeah, I gave you one. one. And she just kept doing it. And I thought, oh, it's a it's a test of wills. <laughs> and she was not going to. And I said, come on, honey. You got one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just holding it up there. Maybe, yeah, move. She got another one. Yeah. And then she has the sweetest. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Man, that's pretty good. She, yeah, pretty by good. the end of the night, she had it figured out. She did. She, she had a lot out. of candy. She had twice the amount of candy as everybody else. Of course, because <laughs> she, she wasn't like, taking no, no, one no. for the no, way no. to go. It's like, no, no. You need another one. You have four in there. I can see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She had her bag she was carrying, and then um, you would empty it yeah. so that it wasn't so heavy. heavy for that's her. how much candy she got. Yeah. And then they went over and they paid their taxes. Yeah. Uh, Papa. Papa got to pick. Got to pick. Everybody got to pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, so, it was fun. It was good. We like, they do in town, they do just like the big business trunk or treat thing. Yeah. Town, it, driving through town is, it's incredible how many, many people. people. I feel like there was more people this year yeah. than there was last year. Um, <laughs> a crazy yeah. amount of people getting into it, but it's fun. Um, they do a little one, they like a little half a block um, next to the city. They, um, the barricade off so you could just be in that little circle and then you can walk up and down the businesses downtown and they're sitting out there giving out candy too so I think it's really fun. fun I think it's safe yeah um we really like it and then yeah we went to soap like soap like is not the best candy they do they give the fire department so they do the same thing they do the little trunk or treating thing it's out in front of the police station with all the lights so, all the lights all the so uniforms the policemen <laughs> the so it's the local cops the county cops ambulance mckay is, um, is out there our um nursing home and then the fire fire trucks are out there fire trucks they give out full-size candy bars yeah they do full-size candy bars yeah i like yeah. it and everybody really cool and nobody gets one it's, no, it's, like, a, handful. it's a handful and plopping yeah. in the bag so yeah they got as much candy <laughs> in so play as walking the streets any freedom for, yeah 45 minutes but it was yeah. fun i also think it's a really good idea i think um it's good especially for wyatt to see that it's police aren't scary they're not anything having them all they're fully suited armed yeah. and everything um and i think it's a good thing for kids yeah. to see i mean our kids yeah. see a lot of it anyways um with being a hunter i mean none of that's scary but i could see if a kid who's not used to it or maybe yeah. doesn't have the great home life they need to know that they're your friends they're your friends they got your back they whatever do. you need so it's really fun they're all out there small and, town america yeah it's pretty fun yeah, All right, so last. we had a really, really good time. It was cold, yeah. but it was we had a good time. All right, so we're going to take some Korean treats back to the zoo, and um, we'll say goodbye back there. Yeah. So first of all, tell them what happened to your hair. Did you take your, your ponies hair? out, Mies? She's, she's sniffing. Yeah, she's a sniffer. Here, smell these. Oh, have one of those. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> your you hair's like distracting, Maisie. Hey, hair. She had a you had a ponytail in. Yeah, she did. But she took it out. She doesn't like your hair. Mm. Wanna try anything else? Let's try. Ooh, here, try one of these. Oh wait, what are those? Um, and that is Lizzie's toy, you guys. <laughs> try this one. Is that a cookie? Mm. 
great cookie. You like those cookies? Mm -hmm. You barely tried it. Take a bite, like you mean it. Too. Ew. No, it's not you. <laughs> that was you. Huh? Don't feed it bite. to the dog. Oh, try one of these. I feel like these just taste like other ones that you usually get. Hmm? Oh, they smell so good. They smell so fruity. I feel like they're different from our. Oh, I bet they're a whole lot better for us sure. than what, I was thinking what we eat here. We can do. Yeah, save those. Oh, that was good. Put them back in the same bag. Here, try this one. Uh, Look at that. Ow. Look, it's like a little um, soda bottle. Help. Hey, oh, help. She wants her moon pie. How? Hey, help. Oh, you mushed it. Oh. Don't mush it. Take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'll put it back in there. No, okay. Wanna try that? I don't want to. It's good, maybe. Try that. Hmm. <laughs> it's chewy. Ew. That one's not <laughs> you. Is that one maybe mixed with chocolate might not be good. It but... might not be. Is it good? Lizzie says if it's not good, I'll help you. Thank you. Thank you. She just wants to take one bite of everything. How about a coconut cookie? Let's try no, that. no. No, you don't want that? This is good. No. Lizzie says, okay. I'll take it. Oh, you're just making a mess. Oh, you're getting chocolate all over me. It's okay. I'll have to bite. Oh, that was a hard way to eat that cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite? Mm -mm. She took like only like a bite of a nibble of each of them. I kind of thought that this one was going to be her favorite. Maisie, you're making a disaster. That's what she likes. It's the moon pie. Hey, can you just take a bite of it like a real person? Aww. With your teeth. Mm, you dropped it. Lizzie got it. Lizzie can't eat chocolate. Oh. Oh. Can you take a real bite of your cookie? Take a bite of your cookie. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.